mga idol at kabayan good news! Philippine Coast Guard ipinakita ang mga assets na parating para sa kanilang modernization program. Wow! Ayos! Hindi lang yan. Ang Philippine Coast Guard ay seryoso upang lumakas at magampanan ang kanilang mga misyon upang matulungan ang bawat mamamayan. Panoorin ang video, ilike at mag-subscribe. Matik na! Pero bago ang lahat, huwag kalimutang ilike at isubscribe ang aming YouTube channel. I-hit ang notification bell para kayo ay manotify sa mga bago naming mga video uploads. Maraming salamat! Admiral Garcia initiated the increase of budget to more than 100% to procure the following assets. Personal watercrafts, aluminum boats, rubber boats, 7-meter ribs donated by Japan in 2018, rigid hull inflatable boats with outboard motor, 12-meter high-speed boats donated by Japan, 11.5-meter special purpose crafts, portable x-ray detector, 44-meter multi-role response vessels as part of the maritime safety capability, 15-meter high-speed boat, 24-meter fast patrol boats between the PCG and French shipbuilder Osea, defiant metal shark boats, and 83-meter offshore patrol vessel for defense. The increased budget likewise allowed the PCG to bolster its air assets with the purchase of two units of Airbus H-145 rescue helicopters, fully equipped ambulances, PCG buses, boom trucks, staff vehicles, multi-purpose vans, and C-35 6x6 trucks. With its vital role in the counter-terrorism, anti-illegal drug, and anti-smuggling efforts of the government, it was imperative for the PCG to upgrade its law enforcement capability by arming its people with the following weapons. 9mm submachine gun, 7.62mm light machine guns combat package, 5.56mm assault rifle, 9mm pistol, and sniper rifle. The PCG's leadership recognized the crucial role of information and communication among the units in the field. The PCG ordered the following upgrades. VHF-based radios. Automatic identification system. HF communication radios. Handheld radios. And VHF marine band handheld radios. As a testament to Admiral Garcia's foresight, the PCG is expected to add the following assets to the inventory. 94-meter multi-role response vessel from Japan, fast patrol craft, and weapons including .50 caliber remote-controlled weapon system to be attached to PCG patrol boats and vessels. Moreover, Significant projects such as the construction of a K-9 hospital building, PCG hospital, establishment and construction of the PCG K-9 Institute and Development Center on the allocated land within the Clark Special Economic Zone with an area of 100,021 square meters. Construction of coastal radar systems from Japan on 11 radar stations in Mindanao. Construction of coastal radar systems from the Philippine government in 10 radar stations. The construction of the following Coast Guard bases are ongoing. To aid maritime safety efforts, navigational buoys amounting to 13.5 million pesos is also scheduled to be delivered while the PCG has received half of the 29 units of primary lead lanterns amounting to 38.91 million pesos. Among the completed projects are the 94 lanterns and the installation of 19 lighted buoys. 
to complement PCG's modernized equipment. Admiral Garcia initiated and crafted the Service Command Career Path or SECOMCAP, which seeks to hone specific skill sets that personnel may find valuable in their chosen track. This will guide the PCG as it envisions to boost its manpower from the current 16,756 to 37,869 by year 2025. Because you are now a government property of the Republic of the Philippines. To optimize the screening and recruitment of qualified aspiring PCG personnel, the command conducted nationwide recruitment which drew a total of 33,358 applicants, the largest in PCG history. With the massive recruitment of personnel, the PCG activated and facilitated the installation of training facilities in the following new regional training centers. RTC Masbate, RTC Cagayan, RTC Zamboanga, and RTC Negros. Laban Pinas.